Good morning, or afternoon, or night, or wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. What's up? I'm Rebecca. So I wanted to discuss how trippy time is. I mean, time is just, to me it's non-existent. I mean, everything, it's crazy to know that people just slapped on a title like, this is Christmas. This is Halloween, and then society just decorates or buys presents or whatnot. They do all that because that's the time of year it is. That's what people are labeling it as. I mean, we can call it Halloween and give out Christmas presents or, you know, it's just... Time is weird. Time is very trippy for me. Like, like my birthday, for example. People were pushing me to go to Vegas and drink and do what 21 year olds do when they turn 21 but I mean I already know what it's like to get shit faced so that's not really what I wanted to do I actually had a pretty freaking amazing birthday I didn't want it to be all about me I know when I was born life knows when I was born and I didn't necessarily want to post about it because it's like people who care are ones that are going to know when my birthday is or ask or remember. So I didn't really want to post about it, but I ended up just posting that I was at a drum circle. Whatever. But, I mean, yeah, I already, I already knew what it was like to get shit-faced. There was no reason for me to go to Vegas, spend all this money and drink and do all that just because I'm, I was turning 21. You know, like, they're, I could do that anytime. But... You know, I'm always talking about living in the moment because there's nothing you can do about the past and your future can be altered right now. I mean, literally all we have is right now. Everything is a moment and then it becomes a memory. You know, the moment we were born, it happened. 21 years later, now it's just a memory. You know, in our dreams, they happen. And now they're just memories. The thing about dreams, though, it's pretty interesting. I was talking to a few friends about it the other day. And we all were talking about how, like, dreams, you know, we have deja vu and stuff. Or, you know, we feel like we've been to this place before. I feel like we have in our dreams. And, you know, it's like, say I was going to... Chuck E. Cheese in my dream and there was just like someone was fighting and there was a big teddy bear telling me let's go let's go like trying to save me you know so as a five-year-old I'm thinking oh my god there was a fight at Chuck E. Cheese and this big bear is trying to save me and then a few years later I'm at a party same concept there's music lights People trying to, you know, have fun. And then someone breaks out in a fight. And then I have a friend over here, which is a teddy bear, telling me, let's go, let's go. So as we get older, we start realizing that things, you know what I mean? How can I say this? That teddy bear is given to me, well, as a kid, teddy bears are given to you as comfort and they're there for you and, you know, they're your friends. But as you get older, that teddy bear is not your friend. It's actually a human being or, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend, like a person being there for you. So it's kind of the same thing, but instead of a teddy bear, it's a person. Instead of little kids fighting at Chuck E. Cheese, it's these drunk people fighting at a party. So everything is just remembering. Everything is just a moment, and then it becomes a memory, you know. Because I, I, I've been to places and had moments where it's like, I've been here before, you know, and you have. Just It was just interpreted a different way. And, you know, maybe you had a, in your dream, you were drinking a can of paint. <laughs> and... Later on, 
you were drinking like a soda and it just tasted horrible. Even though it was a small minor moment, it's still the same idea. You're just living moments over and over and over again. It's all in your head. So with that being said, it's kind of, kind of crazy to think about all the events that lead up to the very moment that you're in. And it's almost like it never happened. You know? All the heartbreak I've had, all the sadness I've had, all the madness I've had, all the fear that I've had, any emotion like that, even happiness, it, it already happened. And it's going to happen again. If I allow it to, it's all in your, it's all in your head, you know? So all that stuff that I, you know, that has led up to this very moment, it's like it never happened. Because right now, I'm filming a video. I'm not mad, I'm not happy, I'm not sad, I'm not, you know, I'm not on a roller coaster somewhere, I'm not out fishing somewhere, I'm not swimming somewhere, I'm not performing somewhere. I'm right here. But I, in my head, I know that all that's happened. In my memory, I can tell you about a time when I was performing. I could tell you about a time when I was at the movies with a boyfriend. I could tell you when I was at the park watching a softball game. I can tell you all this stuff from my memory. It did happen at some point, but right now, it's like it never happened because I'm sitting here filming a video. So, time is really trippy to me. Um, I mean, that's why I try to live in the moment, honestly, because all we have is now. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I'll have another one for you guys next Monday. Thank you.